Tyco used to claim that their cars were capable of scale speeds of up to 1200 miles per hour and were faster than the real thing. Turn and into the straight at an awesome 1200 scale miles per hour. We're going to find out if those claims were true. I'm going to build an Arduino based speed detector and put the claims to the test. Nigel Mansell and you face the greatest challenge, the Formula Tyco Grand Prix. Don't lose it on the first bend. Blast down the long straight at incredible Tyco speeds. Look out for the chicane. Try for the lead. Hit the Tyco power. Up the high bank corkscrew. Turn and into the straight at an awesome 1200 scale miles per hour. Take the lead through the hairpin. And you've done it. You've won. I think Formula Tyco is the best yet. The world's number one racing system. I bought this 1992 set from eBay. First of all, I need to unbox it, make sure everything's there and that everything worked. Right, in we go. We may have an issue with that rear wheel. What I think we should do now is try and build a basic oval, see if we can get the cars working. Up. Oh. It may be because these guides on the bottom of the car are very tarnished. Try cleaning these contacts. See what happens now. Absolutely nothing. So we're going to turn this over. This controller is faulty. There's a fault with this controller. We can see that this controller is working. Oh! Some life. Come on, Nigel. Certainly not faster than the real thing at the moment, are you? Let's just get rid of some of this dust. Aha! Come on, Nigel, you can do it. Okay, so one car works, the other one has a damaged pinion, and we've got a faulty controller but we do have enough to start the test. Right, the plan is to take this Tyco lap counter. What I want to do is completely take it apart. I'm going to fit a digital screen. We're going to hook that up to an Arduino and using some light photo resistors, The plan is we're going to set the photoresistors in the track. Every time it passes over a photoresistor, it will record a lap. We'll have a lap counter. It will give us a time that it took to complete the lap. And I will program in the size of the track and it will give us the average speed. I'm then going to install two sensors per track. The machine will also be able to tell me the actual speed it takes the car to pass between the two sensors. That is the plan. Is this plugged in? I distinctly remember Nigel Mansell advertising this product range 
with the slogan, it's faster than the real thing. Now, I was hoping to share that advert with you today and I've searched and searched and searched and I cannot find it anywhere online. I cannot even find any reference to it on the internet. So did he really advertise these sets with that slogan or is that a false memory? It's race day for the Mansells at the Formula Tyco racetrack. Nigel's hit the front thanks to his usual superb start. He's held it brilliantly through the chicane. I don't think Leo will catch him now. But wait, Leo snaps the lead very to the home straight. He's won. When you can win at Formula Tyco, who knows? You might be the next Nigel Mansell. We finally finished making the lap counter. This is in its basic format. It's going to count the number of laps. It's going to give us miles per hour below that, and then it's going to give us scale miles per hour below that. This is just a basic test track that I've set up just to test the equipment. So let's see where we're at. You might remember me saying that only one car worked, so you're probably wondering why you saw the Ferrari running around the track. The Ferrari, the pinion gear is worn out. So what I've been doing is taking the body off of the chassis and swapping them around, basically taking parts from either cars so that we have one good working car. You may have noticed in that video that the average speed was around two to three hundred miles an hour and even on the straight line actual speed the most we hit was 530 miles an hour so neither of those live up to Tycho's claims of 1200 miles per hour perhaps it's because the cars are old and worn out so what I'm going to do next is see if I can strip them down clean them up a bit see if I can tune them up and get them running up to their claimed speed so let's see what happens If you are. We've applied grease to the front axles, to the rear axles, to the pinion, to the crown gear. I've removed all of the metal filings from around the motor. I've cleaned up all the contacts, cleaned up the contacts there. So we are rebuilt. Let's put the top back on. We now have a serviced Williams. Just a heads up, I've made a mistake. The speed detector, I've programmed it for 1 64th scale and it turns out Formula Tyco is 1 87th. So in the following footage, the speed that I display along the bottom of the screen is the actual scale speed for 1 87th scale Formula Tyco. The speeds that you'll see on the display of the speed detector is the actual speed in miles per hour and below that would be the speed in 1 64th scale. Sorry. Three, two, one.
628 miles an hour. And go. Six three seven seventy five. Okay, here we go. Six six six. Six hundred and twenty. Six hundred and sixty six point three one. Six hundred and forty seven. So there you have it, the results are in. Is Tyco faster than the real thing? Well, at scale speeds of over 800 miles an hour, yes, it is faster than the Williams FW14B, which clocked in at over 200 miles an hour. So yes, green tick to Tyco there. Did they hit scale speeds of 1200 miles per hour? Not today. Perhaps when they were new, fresher motors, maybe they did with a long enough straight. So thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please hit the like button. Please subscribe for more content like this. Uh, if you've got any comments, comment below. If you wanted to see a more in-depth video on the Arduino build, let me know and I can post it up. Thanks for watching.